The essence of motion graphics is it's always been collaborative and it's always involved people with a big range of skills. Skill sets change and are expanding constantly, um, but it's always been about embracing the fact that you're bringing people from lots of different design or even technological backgrounds into your projects. If you uh, get excited about what they're bringing to the project and do your best to um, understand the challenges that they're facing, um, you'll find you really get the best out of people and you create something that is far beyond what you could do in a, in a small team with a limited skill set. Team! Team, 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 team. <laughs> I even love saying the word team. <laughs> And like, like you said, I mean, you listen to every person and what they bring to the table. If someone's an effects artist and says, render it like this or, you know, whatever, it's going to be way faster and, and cheaper and we can get, make it look cooler. You know, those kind of uh, conversations, I think, is what makes this field super exciting and what, what also, you know, creates uh, the most interesting and unique work. We really love their work first. And then we try and work out how we're going to get on with them in a work setting. But if we don't love what they do and, and if they don't love the ideas or the project that we're bringing together, um, I don't think it's ever going to work. We have a list of people we already worked with and that we know well and we like them as people and we know we get along well, we know what they can do, how they work and their style. Um, and then we always have this other list of like really, really interesting people that we're because of their work, we're interested to work with. So for example, during the last year, uh, while he was living in London, we had uh, Bradley G. Monk Mankowitz. We undeniable. Uh, he, was, uh, he was working in our studio, um, so he had a desk with us, and so that was also really nice to, to yeah, have somebody else like him in the studio. Clients come with a very open brief, and they want us to pitch against five studios, and they're like, you know, we've got this script, we don't know what style we want, and that's when we bring in, like, uh, six teams from around the world, and we do, like, you know, six styles and try to basically blow everyone else out of the water by just having as many fully fleshed out pitches as possible for them to choose from. These days when you pitch projects to agencies, um, it's not the agency that usually decides, it's the, the client and it's the shiniest object on the table. You know, in, in LA, I would say only like 10 or 15% is, is agency, but in New York and Sydney, uh, probably more like 75. People generally, I would say 90% of our staff, everyone has uh, a multitude of skills. That's what we look for in, in artists, is, is people that can do, you know, they have they can tons of styles, they can jump from 3D to illustration, they can do storyboards, because we're a very sort of amorphous company. People with lots of different talents are the people that we, we hire most. Clients are coming to us asking for different ways to present their brands and it's not necessarily on TV anymore. This gives us a pretty cool opportunity because it means that uh, they don't necessarily know how they want to present their work. So they might come and just say something as simple as, we've invented this new thing and we need you to explain to people how it, how it works. So what we're seeing is we can use our expertise in technology and visual effects and say to clients, you know, you have your product and you have your idea of how you want to market it, but we have all the expertise on uh, what kind of things we can make from that because we see that uh, it's, it's where the future is. We recently have had more conversations with clients or brands that directly come to us instead of receiving um, a brief or a pitch from an agency. And that really allowed us to yeah, work with them from the beginning, have, an, have a conversation about what they really want and what they show, uh, want to show. And by that we can shape the brief our, on our own, basically. We always say it's directed by Buck because Buck is a, a massive team of people and, and like I said, we sort of we bounce around. Many years ago, decided to take the ego 
out of the equation entirely. You know, before we kept on getting crap from agencies saying, you know, like who's the director, who's the who's the who's the guy person in charge of this? And now when you're partnering with brands, they don't care who who the the director is. They just want good work and they want it to be done in the time that they want it. And they want to, you know, they want to have conversations. They want to be part of the team. Our approach to to that is creating creating just a, a friend culture, uh, even across all, all offices. What we have done is we moved office a few years ago, and when we did that, we decided to get rid of the idea that um, design would be here, 3D would be here, engineering would be here, and we've broken that up a little bit more. And instead, we've created uh, project rooms. There are five people come in and we sit down and have a what we call brain jams and everyone brain jams together. <laughs> and, and it's like, we, we, we say, it's like, we're having a party, you're invited to our party. Uh, let's, you know, let's have some fun. So we always try when we have freelancers from, from abroad um, to get them over for at least a few weeks to that you can work with them um, together at least for the kickoff of the project. So we have in general this like really really open space office where everybody's sitting together and as Will said like you can look over each other's shoulders, um, can easily learn from each other. You probably think that's a picture of my family. Uh -uh. It's the A team. <laughs> Tiger, the jewelry man. Oliver. If you start a motion design project, particularly an abstract one, you have no idea what's going to happen along the way. Whether some of the design ideas are going to work or not, whether the client's going to throw them away simply because they don't like them. That's the kind of the thrill of doing this sort of stuff is it's always an experiment and you're always you always have one foot in the uh, in the shadows. Um I just, uh, I like Hunter S. Thompson's quote on this, which is, uh, if you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much room. 